Hey guys, welcome to a, what is this? We'll call it like a Black Friday Cyber Monday haul. Although based on when this will go up, that might just seem a little like, well, I guess it doesn't matter. Like unless you can share them literally as you're buying them, you really can't share a Black Friday Cyber Monday haul that quickly. Um, we'll start off with Sephora. This isn't really Black Friday or Cyber Monday, but with the 25 off 50 for VIB Rouge, I picked up the Dr. Dennis Gross uh, peel pads, the extra strength. There's two pads, so you go through on cleanse skin, you go through with the first pad, you wait a couple minutes, let that sink in, and then you go in with the second pad. I had talked about these in vlogs before and had gotten samples and I tried them twice and I was like, and every time I use it, I was like, this is so amazing. Like my skin looked amazing afterwards. It will feel so smooth. And then I had most recently followed up with the Redial Snake Serum and then I put a little bit of Clinique Moisturizer on after that just to make sure, just to prevent it from being super peely. I mean, I still had some peeling a little bit here and on the nose and even right now I do from using it a couple nights ago, but these are like oh, so good. Like, like a regimen where you, not a regimen, I guess you could just use it for 30 days straight and I don't know that I would do that just because it's winter and I'm scared of that but in the summer I would have no problem going through and using this every single day like oh so good and these are an AHA uh, exfoliant I don't know just want to share that in case you were wondering what kind of exfoliant it is I think during their Cyber Monday releases I picked up the Lancer Nourish um, I've talked about Lancer products a lot. I love their lip, the volume, the lip volume enhancing serum, as well as their eye cream. Um, those were sent to me. This I bought, uh, and I've also used their polish before, which is also something that I have bought. So the polish is their exfoliant. This is called Nourish, which is their moisturizer. Now this I think is like a half size. You get 15 milliliters. This stuff is intense. Like I think that this is definitely for someone with dry to very dry skin. I used it for about a week. It's very, very emollient. I think that half size put me at about, I want to say like 12 or $15. Just a really good deal for that brand because that brand I find to be quite pricey. I also picked up my favorite Bosha Peppermint um, blotting papers. You get, how many in here? A hundred, which I like having a hundred. But I also like the peppermint scent so much. And I also, I love the charcoal ones just because they seem to absorb a lot of oil but I like these for the scent and then they're overall they're really good blotting papers so every year I stock up because they always go on sale either during Black Friday Cyber Monday or you might find them on sale when they kind of like discount a lot of stuff in December from holidays I also got a little mini I think it's like a hundred point perk I love love the setting spray so I got a little mini which is great for travel Kylie cosmetics I know did I really I did and I really do like this palette. I'm really glad I picked up this one instead of the first one that came out. The first one that came out was the bronze palette. And this one is the burgundy. And this one is beautiful. And when I got this, I used it for like a week straight. It's really nice. I have, well, and also I think it was like, the original price of this is like around 40 or 42. But during Black Friday, they did some like nice promotions. And these were like, I think this was like 36 and it was like free shipping, so I mean, I like it. I think this is really good, like I'm surprised. Like I feel like, I sound like I'm faking my excitement, but I'm just like surprised that I liked it so much because I guess I wasn't expecting it to be so good and it is really good. Every look that I created with it was really pretty. I also picked up two of her cream shadows. This is in the shade Golden Plum. So you can see a swatch of that. Golden Plum has more glitter in it and I'm not super, like I guess it looks good and it's layerable. I just feel like maybe it doesn't swatch well. And this one is in camo. I really like camo. This one, it does one, it's one of those one shade eyeshadow things. It looks really good and it deepens up in the crease when um, you blend it into there and it's great as like a lower lash line and it smokes out. This whole, this color is just super pretty. It's I guess I want to say it's a dupable, but I really like her formula. You get about five grams of product and like with the discount, I think these were only like 12-ish dollars. So I'm like super impressed because I actually wasn't expecting to be. You get like a Kylie Cosmetics like box. Everything is like packaged. Everything is like marketed and like detailed in a way where like I think what she is charging as far as like pricing goes is very reasonable. I mean she is technically a startup brand and it's really good. Like it's I guess I guess for me I'm purchasing like probably way after the initial launch. So I think everything is quite good right now. Next up, I don't know if this really counts as like Black Friday or Cyber Monday, but Tarte recently did a 
30% off sale for like friends and family. So I finally, finally was able to pick up light medium from Shape Tape. No, Shape Tape in light medium from Tarte. Too much excitement. I have that on, on the under eyes today. <sighs> Love it. I have been using medium on my face as foundation and as concealer. I even use medium under the eyes and I still really liked it. This is just slightly brighter and I really love it. This is holy grail. At this point, if you told me to throw out all my concealers, I would pick this one. If you would have asked me before this came out, I would tell you NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And then, but the thing is, I like that for the face, loved it for the face, but I didn't soup. Wow, I did not know what kind of word I was trying to say. I didn't particularly love it for the under eyes. I liked it, but I didn't love it. This is like the end all be all. Like you, unless you are very oily, I feel like I never have to set this concealer. Under the eyes, on the face, I keep shade medium in my purse for touch-ups throughout the day, maybe around my mouth, around my nose. If I feel like I need like, you know, if it's worn off or eating and talking kind of creates a thing, you know, where your kind of makeup disappears, but so love. Absolutely go get it. Like just go get it. And they came out with, I want to say like four or five new shades when they restocked recently. So. Um, this is light medium. Light sand is like another shade, like a slightly lighter than this. So not that I want it, whatever. You know what I mean? There's more shades. It's so good. And then this is a single shadow in Sinful. I love these Tarte single shadows. If you see these and you find a color you like, absolutely get it. Also, these are magnetic, so they pop right out so you can put them in their palettes. That's Sinful. It's like a burgundy brown, like a purple based brown. I have it on the lid today and on the lower lash line and I have some, ooh, I'll show it to you, the Queen of Hearts palette from Colored Rain as like the crease shade, but these are so good. I also have the shade Scarlet, which is more of like a straight up flat out burgundy, but oh, these are so good. With that purchase came for free was this Tardis Blackout Lip Liner. It's black, so I'm, I'm wondering if this was, whoa, <laughs> if this was like a promotion like that they came out maybe for Halloween-ish. So they're giving it away. Oh my God, right? That's crazy. As a lip liner. Urban Outfitters, I think, had like a 20% off code. So I picked up a whole bunch of the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Now you're like, well, why didn't you just pick them up during like an Anastasia sale? At this point, I think when I had saw the 20% off code from Urban Outfitters, the Anastasia sales had already been released, like what was going to be on sale. And I think brow products were also like... Is it like 20 or 25% off? I, I really don't remember, but like Birchbox, I was like, whatever, might as well do. I also had credit on the Urban Outfitters website, so I also wanted to kind of use that up for something, you know, very useful. <laughs> Next up, one of my absolute favorite purchases during the sales um, this holiday season, as well as just in general from a makeup standpoint, is this palette. It is the Queen of Hearts from Colored Rain. This is the sleeve. I actually really wish it came like, it was like on the packaging, but it's not. But you know, whatever, we're not gonna. <clears throat> this is magnificent. This might be my favorite palette this year. Like, it probably is my most favorite palette. Like, this shade I use all the time. This is the shade I have in my crease. It's called Royal Prerogative. This white shade reminds me of Thunderstruck from Kat Von D. I mean, I love, <laughs> fuchsias and oranges so like for me this is like a oh, for real like super love it's like it's i feel like it's if the modern renaissance from anastasia and maybe the Too faced peanut butter palette had a baby and then like i don't know made magic like that's what this is now this runs, I want to say it runs around 50 and there's a whole bunch of maybe 10% off codes floating around, you know, like affiliate codes from like bloggers and vloggers, but you still have to pay shipping after that. So I want to say either way, you're still going to hit around $50 for this. It's made in the US. Let me see how many grams you get. You get 17.5 grams of product, which is pretty good. I mean, I, if this were to sell at Sephora, it would sell out. It is so good. These are swatches. I mean, can you believe that? Like this shade and this shade and like this shade I use on the lid all the time. This kind of matte orange and matte purple, I love using in the crease, on the outer crease. And then this is the shade I have on the lid, like as, as my crease color. And then the blending shades are so pretty. Like I can't even, <laughs> it's so beautiful, this whole entire palette. Every single color is beautiful. 
Smashbox did, I think, 25% off their website, and I had, like, I don't know why I had, like, $39 on there. I think I had shot from them maybe before, like, a year or two ago, and they had, like, some kind of rewards program, so I had money from that, which I think... I don't know that's just a lot and then recently i think they like tried to revamp the rewards program so if you like signed up for it again you got like ten dollars so i had like 39 dollars sitting there which is amazing on top of the 25 percent off now this is the smashbox studio skin 24 hour waterproof concealer i have been seeing so many people talk about this and so many people love it i tried this once i did not like it i think this is for people with oily skin if you have oily skin you will absolutely love this because then i actually went through and tried to remember who really liked it and they have oily skin so this is not for me i'm probably going to put this on the blog sale because i've used it once and you know it's okay it's still good not for me though I picked up two lipsticks. If you've never tried any of the Smashbox Be Legendary lipsticks, you need to. They're so good. I probably have like four or five currently. Um, this one is in the shade Cognac. Very pretty. I'll do swatches for you. They're such beautiful, easy lipsticks to wear. Their formula is amazing. Um, I haven't tried any of their matte shades. Actually, this one is a matte. I don't think this is my first matte color from them. It's called Latte. This is Cognac and that's Latte. They're super pretty. Their pigmentation and their formula is so smooth and you get the most even application of lip color. I just really, really love their lipsticks. If you haven't tried any of the Be Legendary lipsticks, you absolutely should. I also picked up the color correcting stick in... It says look less tired, light. But this is more of a peach. Uh, I had picked up the more orange shade before when they first released and i was like oh my god i hate this but this one really really good i love this around the mouth and i also apply it like right like on the darkest part of my like eyes so just one line and kind of blend it in blends in really really nicely and it comes with its own sharpener which is really great macy's was doing really great random deals now the first thing i saw was this laura mercier lip kit you get two products for $25, which is a crazy good deal because I find that Laura Mercier products are more up there in range as far as like what I'm generally willing to pay for a lip product. The first one is the lip liner in hazelnut tea. And in a more recent video, I had, I can't remember if it was a vlog or if it was a makeup video, but someone was like, you have to get hazelnut tea if you like, it. oh, maybe it's the Sephora VIB Rex video. Actually, more than one person suggested this. So when I saw the kit, I was like, please let it be hazelnut tea. And then the other color is called Sinful, and it's from the Lip Parfait Creamy Color Balm line. And I have had, had my eye on this for a really long time. I just didn't, like, want to pick it up because price and just, or shipping thresholds, whatever it was. And this stuff goes on like a, like a lip balm. It's really crazy smooth, really soft. So probably something not to keep in your, like, car because it will get melty so the bottom is hazelnut tea i absolutely love it for anyone that recommended to me thank you and then the top is sinful or the center is sinful the top is the anastasia gloss in neon orange i love <laughs> anastasia glosses this is probably coming across like really like neon pink but it's really yeah there we go it's more of an orange again i guess yeah neon orange is a really good name for it I usually don't like super sweet scents on lipsticks because they always smell artificial. I love a sweet, but this literally smells like cake batter. Ooh, well, I guess that's it for that. It just smells like you can eat it. No artificial, like plasticky factory kind of vibe. It's so good. And all of the Anastasia glosses, I always wear them super tapped into the lips because it is a lot of pigment and it could easily look like too much is going on like it'll look good on instagram but in real life you really need to like go more subdued with them <laughs> birchbox did a promotion that i think was like 25 percent off if you were like a vip or all access whatever their line is whatever that tier of reward is i got this i had talked about this earlier in a video this is like one of my holy grail hair products it's a smoothing fluid and you're like okay you have straight hair but yes it still works phenomenal I use maybe like four or five pumps before I blow dry my hair. I'll also use it whenever my hair doesn't look as healthy as I want it to look. I love using it on the ends. It is like a magical miracle worker for me. I can't imagine not having this anymore. I've probably only been using it for about a couple years. 
I think that's where we're at with this. I've just never really, I don't share that much hair stuff with you guys because you guys know that I'm just, I'm uncomfortable because I'm like, I don't really know that much about hair. I feel weird when I share stuff with you guys. This thing, it's the Birchbox and Aura Bay styling kit. Like, they had already put this on sale for kind of Black Friday, Cyber Monday-ish, and on top of it, I got 25% off. I was so excited. I think it was like 27 with another 25 off. I'm so obsessed with this kit because you get minis. First of all, if you've ever tried any of the Aura Bay stuff, their full-size bottles are huge. Um, so I love getting travel sizes for them whenever there's a promotion, and these are even smaller than their like regular travel size. This is the Super Fine Hairspray. I love this. So good. This is the Apre Beach Wave and Shine Spray. I love using this after I've curled my hair and it's like kind of settled. I just like spray it in to give it a little more shine and a little more hold. This is their Dry Texturizing Spray. I don't know anyone. I mean, there are people who probably don't love it, but I really like it. And the scent is amazing. The Gold Lust Dry Shampoo. I've actually never used this before. This is the one thing in this kind of kit that I haven't tried, but uh, trust, I am super excited for it. And then this is probably one of my hands down absolute favorite hair products in general and or from Aura Bay. The Impermeable Anti-Humidity Spray. I generally don't really need to use anything on my hair to make my hair stay, like whether it be the straight look or when I curl my hair except in the summertime when it's like really humid. And I never really cared before until it was kind of like, oh, this is not cute, like midday. And I had this, it came in a kit. I just never tried it before. I started using it this summer. It is so good. Like if you want your hair to like stay past that kind of initial beautiful phase, like post doing, zhuzhing, it really works because like I said, I usually don't care if my hair falls, but in the summer, you don't, you end up looking gross and sweaty and you kind of want at least something to be holding up. And this stuff works really, really well. Um, I feel like if you do live in a humid temperature, A, let me know if you've tried it and it works, but I really feel like it will work really well to maintain some kind of like style. So that is my kind of Cyber Monday, Black Friday, plus just holiday like deals that I have been shopping. Um, I have picked up so much like clothing stuff. Like, where have I shopped from? A little bit from Forever 21, some from Boohoo. I picked up a lot of like over the knee boots. Um, I think I picked up the Stuart Weitzman Highlands and a pair by Ash. I just, I really need to figure out what I like and then I'll, sh I'll do a haul for you guys. I feel like we haven't done any kind of fashion-y haul in a while. Every so often in vlogs, I'll share stuff with you guys, but I feel like we are due for some kind of actual fashion clothing haul. So I'll try to get that for you guys as soon as I can. Hope you enjoy the video. Share what you picked up. I'm really happy with everything I got. I feel like a lot of it is just stuff that I've had my eye on, but most of it, is like repeat stuff. The blotting papers, the Smashbox lipsticks, um, the Aura Bay, the Sephora stuff, Dr. Dennis Gross. Like a lot of it's just stuff I've already used that I just kind of, this is more of a restock haul outside of maybe like the Colored Rain palette and the Kylie Cosmetics. Everything else was very like stuff I already know and love. So yeah, share what you have been like spending your money on. And um, I will try to do both a fashion haul as well as kind of like a gifts ideas thing in some capacity. Thank you for watching.